welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you are struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find it. Let us look at question 22. 22m, integrate 3x to the power 2 minus 5x plus 9 over x to the power 3 with respect to y. So this is just a matter of integrating. So let me start from uh, this space. I'm going to utilize this space. So the first thing that this equation can be written as y is equal to 3x squared minus 5x then plus 9 then x to the power negative 3. Remember if you have 1 over x to the power n this is the same as x to the power negative n. So it's a principle that we used only this one. This, this part. So that's the principle that we've used. So now having done that, what we need to do is now integrate. So the law of integration is if you're given a function using the linear of x to the power n to integrate this one, which is integration in this case with respect to x, I need to do x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1. That's the principle that I need to apply across. So having understood that principle, then you can proceed and integrate this. So with respect to y, so integrating this function, y dx, so this is the same as integrating this function, which is now 3x square minus 5x, then plus 9x to the power negative 3 with respect to x. So this is an indefinite integral. So what we do is, for the first one, what we do is, to the power we add 1, so it's 2 plus 1, which becomes 3. Then, so we're going to have 3, the original one. Then we're going to have x to the power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. So it's the same principle that we're going to apply on the next one, so it will be 5, then x, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Then it will be 9, then x to the power negative 3 plus 1 over negative 3 plus 1 plus the constant. Then what we're going to have is we're going to have 3 into 3 because 2 plus 1 is 3 is a 1. So we're going to have x to the power 3 then minus 2 into 5 is 2.5 so we can have 2.5 x to the power 2 then this will be the bottom here will be negative 2 the unit will be negative so so negative 2 into 9 it will be 4.5 then x to the power negative 2 then plus c so this is the integral that you are looking for in this case which is an indefinite because c is a constant it's a number that when it differentiated it became a zero so once you do that you're good to go you can go and light this one on the answer space provided so instead of lighting 2.5 i'll light this one as the fractions these two so that they look better so we're going to have x to the power 3 then minus 5x divided by 2 then minus 9 over 2 then x square down here because it's a negative then plus c so once you do that, it's correct. Or you can light it this way. x to the power 3 minus 5 over 2 x. So this x is not down. This x is above. Then minus 9 over 2. Then x to the power negative 2. Then plus C constant is still the same. Just wanted to emphasize that. So you don't, or you want, you can go with the decimal places. It should be okay. Instead of lighting 9 over 2, you light 4.5. And 5 over 2, you light it negative 2.5. You still get it correct. Look at question B. 
the diagram shows the graph of a function y is equal to 2 as a power of x then plus c 2x minus c 15 the curve cuts x axis at a and b and the y axis at c so we have this function which is y is equal to x square plus 2x minus 15. Find the coordinates of b and c. So at b, the value of y is 0 because this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. So along the x-axis here, the value of y is 0. So what we need to do is we need to equate this function to 0, then solve for x using a quadratic equation. So we have x square plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. So we have x square plus 2x minus 15 equals 0 because the value of y here is 0 along this. So here we substitute 0. That's what I'm saying. 0 is equal to this, which is the same as x square plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. Then at this point, we can use the standard quadratic equation, this plus bx plus c equals 0. So a is equal to 1, the coefficient of x square, then b is equal to 2, then c is equal to negative 15. So what is the product? So the product is 1 times negative 15, which is negative 15. So what are the two numbers, which are the factors that in such a way that when we apply them, they give us negative 15. When you sum them, they give us a positive 2. So this is a 5 and negative 3. So now, whenever there is x, 2x here, we substitute with these two. Because the summation of those two. So now it becomes x squared plus 5x minus 3x minus 15 equals 0. So to make this one very easy to solve without in, in, uh, attracting problems, I'm going to move this on this side because A plus B is the same as B plus A. So we're just adding them. That's what it means. So we have x square minus 3x because minus 3x plus 5 is still 2. Or 5 minus 3 is still 2. Then plus 5x minus 15 equals 0. So me, I can easily deal with this, but I'm just trying to help you the common mistake that people make. So this is the easiest way that you can avoid making a mistake. Then at this point, you can factor out what is common between this one and this one, and what is common between this one and that one. So you know that x is common, so you see x into x square is x, x into minus 3x is minus 3. Then here 5 and 5 can go here, so we have plus 5, 5 into 5x is x, 5 into minus 15 is minus 3. This is equal to 0. So we know this need to be the same. If they're different, then we've made a mistake. So at this point, you come here, I can use this space. I'm just demarcate here. So I know what is common. So what is common is this one and this one. I can factor it out. So it will be x minus 3, factor it out. Into these all things, I mean with x, then into these all things, I mean with positive 5 equals to 0. Then either this one is equal to 0 or this one is equal to 0. That's what it means. So meaning either x minus 3 equals 0 or uh, x plus 5 equals 0. Then you solve for x. So x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 5. That's what it means. So where is x equal to positive 3? So because y is already 0, so this is a positive. So this is should be 5, I mean not 5. So this should be 3, comma 0 because this is a positive side. Then this one should be negative 5, comma 0. So what are the coordinates of b? The coordinate of b, we know them is 3, comma 0. So we can go and write in the answer space. So this is 3 comma 0. Let me use the collect color. We use the blue. 3 comma 0 so that I don't tempt you to use the red. Then we've done that. Then we can go to C. So C, at this point C, the value of x is equal to 0. So in this equation now, whenever there is x, we put a 0. 
then we solve for y. So, because this is the vertical axis, so to find c, we have whenever there is y, we we'll put a zero. So to find c, whenever there is x, we we'll put a zero because this is along the vertical axis. So it will be y is equal to whenever there is x, we we'll put a zero square, then plus two times zero, then minus fifteen. So y is equal to 0 plus 0 is 0 minus 15 is minus 15. So this coordinate becomes now 0 comma 0 comma negative 15. That's what it means. So the last this one is the intercept. Remember when we are solving on the other side I said C is the constant which is the intercept. So this was in the value of y. So this now becomes the value of x is 0 then comma negative 15 because we are moving vertically. Question E, Loma numeral 2 of B, minimum value of Y. So the minimum value of Y is happening at the turning point. So at the turning point, the change in Y as a result of change in X is equal to 0. So we need to differentiate this function. The first derivative we equate it to 0. Then we solve for the value of X. Once we find the value of X, then we substitute in the in this function then in, we find in the value of y that will give us the, the minimum value of y so let us see go so let me just create space so I have the function y is equal to x square plus 2x minus 15 so the first step I said to answer this Loma numeral 2 is to find the derivative. So we need to find dy, dx, we differentiate with respect to x. So the law of differentiation is of this function, the general function to the power n. So dy, dx is equal to nx, then n minus 1, like that. So it will be 2 comes down, so 2x, then it will be 2 minus 1, then we we'll go to the next one plus, it will be, this is a 1, so it will be. 2 times 1, then x, 1 minus 1, then this is a constant because what this one means is the same as x to the power 0. So what this tells me is I'm going to have minus 15 times 0, then x, 0 to the power minus 1. That's what this means. So simplifying this one gives me that dy dx equals 2x then this is 1 minus 1, so the power is 0. Anything less to the power 0 is a 1. So it will be 2 times 1 times 1, so it will be a 2. Then anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So plus or minus a 0 is just a 0. So this is equal to 2x plus 2. But this must be equated to 0 at the turning point, which is the minimum. The change in the value of y as a result of the change in the value of x is equal to 0. So this differ differential function or differentiation function that we differentiated, we equate it to 0 then solve for x. So 2x is equal to negative 2. So what we have next is we divide by 2. So we're going to have x is equal to negative 2 divided by 2. So x is equal to negative 1 as the value of x. So the value of x at the turning point which is at this point, this value of x here is negative 1. But we need to find now the value of y. So to find the value of y, we substitute in this original function. Once we substitute in this original function, then we can find the value of y. So go back to the same equation. So now what we need to do is, let me demarcate again. In this function, we substitute. Remember, this is 0, it's not there. So we have now y is equal to uh, negative 1, we square it, then plus 2 times negative 1, then minus 15. So y is equal to negative 1, remember, put it in brackets. The common mistake is someone just write in negative 1 square, then they will write in negative 1, no. Negative 1 square is negative 1 times negative 1, which is in positive 1, then minus 2, because negative times a positive is a negative, then minus 15. So y is equal to 
this one is negative 16 so negative 16 is the minimum value of y once you do that you are good to go and you get these good marks so this is how you answer question 22 to get the full marks so i could take a bit of time but i want you to understand the principle so join me as we look at the last question in this paper